Oh. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, roofing inspectors react to good and bad roofing installations. I'm Jeff Hawk, Technical Director for Sheffield Metals, and I've been involved with roof inspections for 15 years. I'm Dave Stubbs, I'm the Assistant Technical Director for Sheffield Metals, and I've been looking at metal roofs, good and bad, for 30 years. Today we're going to be looking at good installations, bad installations, and we're going to let you know what we think about them. Oh my. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Well, somebody's smaller than the other. Somebody didn't have a cut sheet to check tolerances. That's like a wish panel, like I wish it would go together. <laughs> Yeah, obviously the uh, the down leg on the female side is uh, is lacking a little bit. Or lacking a lot. A lot of bit. <laughs> lacking a lot of bit. Hopefully that's near the trash bin waiting to get picked up. Recycled. They, recycled, yes. Got anything else on that one? Color's uh, good. All right. <laughs> I applaud their creativity. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably going to leak. But at least it's not an issue on the metal portion. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to get blamed. Somebody's going to have a problem with that. Right. Um, hopefully it's the same contractor. Hopefully the, the single ply contractor is the same as the metal roofing contractor, assuming the metal roof is going to be covering that two by, but goodness uh, gracious. I, don't, I mean, even the lap on the underlayment above it looks a little lacking yeah. just, just from the lay lines, you know, and the, and the bubbles. Don't do that. Number three. Number three. Ooh, it's looking pretty clean from a distance. Yeah. Shark skin looks nice. Looks pretty flat. Nice clean runs. I mean, pipe's not in the middle of a seam. 100 feet away, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Number four. Well, it's dirty. Yeah, somebody's got some cleanup to do. Somebody's got some cleaning to do before anything happens. Is it running up the walls? Is it cut off? I can't tell. It just looks it, like stucco debris. It looks like there's a line. Normally, that would be turned up the wall. Correct. At least four inches. Oh, you want to do yeah, it? Yeah, I okay, want you do it. Oh, okay. I mean, that. I like the nails. That's a nice touch. It's a good try, but no. So that's it's a very leak, very exposed valley. Yes. Yep. They're looking for a water feature on the inside. And the worst part is, it looks like it used to be one piece because the way it, I mean, why? It, what it's cut? I don't. The part that is most. Alarming to me is there's a chalk line in the top of the picture like they planned on putting the valley in. Right, like they're ready to go. Yeah, like they're ready to go. Like that's, we're Proceed. good. Yes, and <laughs> move forward. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of red flags all in one photo. The valley not being dried in when that's going to be the main catch of water on your roof is a major problem. We don't recommend installing any trim with nails. They do have a close nail spacing though. I will, I will give them that. The way those two pieces are trying to be put together isn't correct. Yeah, I mean, the worst part about it is this could happen with this crew day in and day out because once you put the valley on, it's you can't see that. Yeah. And so with condensation, especially in the valley condition where snow collects, that's where the condensation lies. Condensation gets, you know, onto the underlayment and into the building, and there you have a, a major problem. And in, in a major repair. And a major repair. Yeah. If the valley goes on, the panels go on, because then the valley and the panels, everything has to come off All to of repair it. the silliness that, that is the, the last ditch ever to keep the building uh, dry and free from infiltration of water. Right. I mean, even, even underlayment is a secondary precaution, and you've ruined that. All right. Since I'm doing so well, that's a good-looking valley. Yeah. Stripped in. The laps are nice and tight. At least it's sealed. Yeah, the probe's not getting in yeah. there. Um, that looks like a decent install. You know, I mean, things you can't tell, obviously, with the ruler being stopped by the sealant, which is a good sign that it's applied, is how far the lap is. You know, it's stripped in, which is a good sign, but it's very hard to tell the fastener spacing without being there. But assuming those are correct, yeah. that looks really good. All indications seem to be it was put in properly. Yeah, I really like how tight the valley laps are together. Yeah. That's... That's a sign of a, you know, somebody who knows what they're doing. Or at least cares. <laughs> Which is the biggest part of all of it, yeah. you know? Oh. Okay, somebody didn't expect wind, apparently. Guess that, that panel needs to be cut up and lowered down off the roof. Yeah, that one's not going to make it. No. Panels are turned up, at least. They're not boxed correctly. Yeah, I mean, they... I mean, they're cut and turned up. 
to bring the machine back out and rerun what looks to be at least a 60 foot panel. That's not a very cost effective deal going on there. Right. I will say it looks like they're using the correct panel for the slope. Correct. You know, it looks, it looks like it's a low slope roof, tons of penetration, so you're, that's going to be a nightmare. I'm a little disappointed with the dry end, quite honestly, especially on that low of a slope. You think you'd get it, get it to lay down quite a bit flatter and not have all those fish mouths in it? Yeah, I don't necessarily like all the debris at the ends of the panels. It looks like those panels have been laying there for a while. Right. So it's not a proper way to, to store panels, as we all know. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Where shall I start? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just not going to drain properly. I mean, not knowing how wide that is, yeah, it's, I mean, it really depends on how it's going to get flashed around it. I mean, drying looks okay. Looks like they had a patch of spot up top. Not really sure what's going on at that angle. Sure. On the um, lower section of the picture, yeah. You don't really know what's going on with the lab no. or if it was severed or what's going on. But it's got a ton of fluffiness, though, there by the ridge. Is it going to cause a problem? You know, I don't know. They could probably step on it and get it to lay down pretty flat. But yeah. they're really, I mean, a lot of this is really going to depend on how they end up flashing that. Correct. You know, water's gonna have to drain behind it. But at the same time, I mean, you got a sill on the back of that thing. Yeah. So even your metal's only gonna divert so much because you're not gonna tie it into it, so. Um. Best part about this one is it, it's correctable. And it, it looks like they, they can address it at this time. That valley, it didn't look like they had any intent on fixing right. it. Right, hell of a slope too. So, I mean, you know, hopefully water will be moving fast enough to help shoot down around that. Correct. So Ridge, we got, um, Panels, panels boxed, boxed correctly. That's a good thing. They're pinned down. Seamed all the way up before the ridge cap gets put on. Yeah, that's always an indication yeah. to somebody that um, cares. You know, seams are a little wavy, but, I mean, that that happens. There's a possibility. You, know, you can't really conduct a full investigation with just a single picture, but they might have hand-seamed that top portion to get the Z's on and Absolutely. finish out the, yeah. before they got the machine. So all indications are there. You know, they seem to. From, yeah, from a weather tight standpoint, that all looks good. Uh, yeah, a lot of problems with this one. Not a lot of thought went into this before they got to this point. Yeah, and there's have to be some really creative resolutions to get this thing in weather, weather tight or water tight condition. The clip is fully fully expanded. It's hanging over the, the edge of the roof, so it can't grow any more than it already is, flat out number one. I mean, when you have clips on, the tab of the clip should be in the center of the base that screws down. So that one's fully expanded, but that's honestly the least of their problems. <laughs> I mean, is that their water diverter, the, the panel being bent up like that? Is that, that's how we're gonna have water come off the roof? Yeah, unsure of their plan there, how, how they're gonna execute that in a, in a watertight condition, because to me it looks like they're just inviting water in. It's a good example of what not to do. Right, and the remedy is gonna be, is there a remedy? I can see one, but it, it's not gonna be easy. If you can get that side, if you can get that rake clear over to the edge of the cap and run that up, you've got a chance, but otherwise. So hopefully this was addressed again before they seam the panels. Correct. It's just not gonna fly. No. I mean, if it's not a problem tomorrow, it'll be a problem soon enough. It doesn't look any better from this angle. No. I mean, it didn't change <laughs> It didn't change at all. Um, no, but we get the relevance of, of what their intention was. And what, it wasn't what we thought. And the panels are seamed, to a 90 at least. Yeah. Um, I, want, I wonder what they're planning on doing with the sidewall. Yeah, they better be creative. Because, I, I mean, your sidewall is tying into the coping. That's tying into nothing yeah. at the top. Yeah, better off removing the coping and doing it right. So, I mean, you've got a really I mean, that's, crazy execution of an, of an acute uh, valley there. Yeah, but it's sharp. It's on point. I mean, they left enough room. I like the way they held back the gutter. So many times they run that gutter clear up until it stops the right. water from coming down. When, yeah, that might look better, but it doesn't allow for the water to to uh, get off the roof. Offset cleats dried in the valley. Panels above it are hemmed to the cleat. Dormer Valley detail. Dormer Valley detail coming up underneath the fascia. That provides a pretty weather tight condition right there. Yeah, I mean, if I had to say anything negative at all, which is very minor, is I'm not a big fan of the downspout being, you know, stuffed in the gutter between the panel. But I, yeah, I agree. Very nice. I mean, even the drip edge is stripped in. You can see some of the bubbles where the screws are. You know, you can tell that if they're not six inches, they're very close. Yeah. No. Good execution. Yeah. Somebody got a deal on fasteners. <laughs> and still didn't know how to use them.
one of my worries would definitely be that counter flashing and what's uh, you know what's going on with the adjacent material. Most uh, cementus products, whether it be stone, hardy board, whatever, a lot of it are, are sponges once they reach a certain point. So they really invite water and, and, and hold water. So uh, whatever's behind it can be deteriorated pretty quickly. So hopefully that whole wall condition is stripped in somehow. The other part is like that side wall, head wall condition, you flip that to the other side. Moisture is going to be trapped in between the seam and the sidewall there. Yeah, you didn't leave a whole lot for me to say on that <laughs> one. Um, you know, I mean, even the, the gasket head fasteners aren't installed right. They're at one's at an angle, one's above. Z closures look good. <laughs> There's just holes everywhere and just unfinished siding. Well, that's that's been my my issue for a long time. Is it seems like the stuff that the holes that I find or the execution, it's like unfinished business. And people just don't don't finish it up. Well, and let's say, you know, even if everything's done right on the metal side, the person that comes back to hopefully fix what is still remains, what's gonna happen to your metal then? Yeah, nobody wants a mason, you know, a mason up on their roof. Not after it's done. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's something. Yeah, it, um, it's close. It's close. Depending if they're, if they're well, if, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's close. I mean, but things you can't see without being there. I mean, you see the panels hemmed. Is it on? Is it hemmed to anything? They ran that panel up very far. I'll give them that. It's going to be a hell of a cap they're going to have to put on there. Well, I'm assuming that they're coming back, at least for the deck tights. Yeah, I mean, and this is something you're going to run into when you're running a panel that small. I mean, that looks like a tiny panel. Do you think that's a 16 inch panel? Oh, no. no. It just reminds me of a Don Ho song. <laughs> tiny panel. <laughs> it's, either a, it's either a tiny panel or a very, very large pipe. That was Roofing Inspectors React to Good and Bad Installs. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, comment down below and we'll catch you next time.